<laughs> Son Goku, you had no chance. I always knew that. Mr. Beerus, this won't do any good. You know it. Right? This time, we will no longer be made pawns by the gods. You're right. I don't know what happened to this reality, Goku. Power is that? It doesn't even look like it's the true same Lord Goku as before. Goku, you had no chance. I always knew that. This is impossible. How did you manage to do this? <laughs> <sighs> 
You will know my true power, Beerus. that it doesn't even look like it's the true same lord Goku as before Hey, how's it going? Just here to remind you to click the like button, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos and stay well inside our entire universe of Z Warriors. Without further ado, let's get straight to the point. The battle on planet Earth reached a new level of intensity as Goku, now imbued with a powerful and unique form that combined Ultra Instinct with Super Saiyan, faced the gods of destruction. Rumusu, the leader of the Council of Invading Gods found himself surprised by Goku's overwhelming strength. Goku quickly advanced, disappearing and reappearing in a split second, launching a series of quick and precise attacks. Rumusu, despite being an experienced god of destruction, found himself for the first time on the defensive. Every punch, kick and key blast from Goku was unstoppable, leaving Rumusu struggling to keep up with his opponent's mind-boggling speed and strength. Rumusu, grunting, defending himself, that's not possible. How can a mortal warrior possess such power? Goku, enveloped in his silver and gold aura, didn't respond. His expression remained serious and focused as he continued to pressure Rumusu. The energy of this new state of transformation pulsed around him, making the environment itself vibrate with his divine presence. Meanwhile, Beerus and Whis, who had arrived at the battlefield, were closely watching the stunning turn of events in the fight. Beerus, with a serious look, this power is something I've never seen before. Goku really managed to push the limits this time. Whis, not surprised, it looks like the situation is under control. Maybe we should focus on finding out why these gods of destruction decided to attack Universe 7. Beerus, nodding. You're right, Whis. Let's let Goku and Vegeta deal with this for now. We need to find out what is behind this invasion. As Goku continued to defy the gods of destruction, the universe witnessed an unparalleled spectacle of power and determination. The balance of forces was about to change, and the truth behind the divine conspiracy was about to be revealed. However, even with Goku in command, the battle was far from decided, and the fate of Universe 7 still hovered on the fine line between destruction and hope. As Goku continued his impressive display of power against Rumusu, the leader of the Gods of Destruction, something began to change on the battlefield. Rumusu initially on the defensive began to laugh sinisterly, a laugh that echoed across the battlefield like a dark omen. Rumusu, deep laugh, interesting, very interesting mortal warrior. Rumusu's dark aura began to intensify, enveloping him like an ominous shadow. Vegeta, who had been watching the fight closely, felt a chill run down his spine as he witnessed the God of Destruction's impending transformation. Vegeta, mumbling to himself, what the hell is going on? Suddenly, the energy around Rumusu condensed, forming a pulsating dark sphere in his hands. 
Rumusu's evil laugh echoed louder as he raised his hands and released energy towards Goku. Rumusu, dark voice, Hakai. The sphere of black energy collided with Goku, and for a moment, the battlefield seemed to disappear in a wave of absolute darkness. Vegeta, unable to contain his surprise, watched in horror as Rumusu's Hakai form displayed its devastating power. Vegeta, wide-eyed. What? What is this? As the darkness began to dissipate, Goku emerged unharmed. His new form, a unique fusion of Ultra Instinct and Super Saiyan, proved to be immune to Rumu-U's Hakai. However, Rumusu, now aware that he was facing a formidable opponent, looked at Vegeta with a defiant smile. Rumuvu, smiling malevolently, it looks like you're intrigued, Prince of the Saiyans. This is the true nature of Hakai, the power of absolute destruction. Vegeta, despite his usual bravery, felt a wave of apprehension. The true extent of Rumusu's Hakai was not yet fully understood, and the battle was taking an even more unpredictable turn. As Goku and Rumusu continued to face each other in a titanic struggle, Vegeta knew that the fate of Universe 7 was once again hanging in the balance and the revelation of the true purpose behind the divine conspiracy was getting closer. As Rumusu advanced towards Goku with his Hakai form, the battlefield became a scene of pure tension. Goku, wrapped in his unique fusion of Ultra Instinct and Super Saiyan, was determined to face the God of Destruction with everything he had. Rumusu unleashed a series of Hakai attacks, each one more powerful than the last, but Goku demonstrated incredible agility and dodge. His body responded instinctively, dodging and dodging Rumusu's devastating blows. Silver and golden energy pulsed around him, forming an aura that resisted absolute destruction. Rumusu, grunting in frustration. How can you escape Hakai so easily? Goku, remaining calm, responded with unwavering determination. Goku, smiling. Ultra Instinct is not just a matter of strength. It is the perfect harmony between mind and body. I see the attacks before you even launch them. With one fluent movement, Goku counter-attacked. He moved with extraordinary grace, delivering precise and quick blows against Rumusu. The Hakai form of the God of Destruction, which had previously seemed invincible, now faced an opponent who could anticipate and dodge every attack. Vegeta, watching the fight, was impressed by Goku's dexterity. Vegeta, mumbling to himself. This enhanced Ultra Instinct is incredible. Goku is truly on another level. As the battle raged, Goku noticed an opening in Rumusu's defense. With surprising speed, he approached the God of Destruction and delivered a powerful blow that sent him flying. Rumusu, stunned, tried to recover, but Goku gave no respite. Goku, with determination. This isn't over yet, Rumusu. I won't let you destroy Universe 7. The fight continued, with Goku demonstrating the power and expertise of his new form, while Rumusu, for the first time, found himself at a disadvantage. The fate of Universe 7 was once again being decided in an epic clash between the deadly warrior and the God of Destruction. As Goku continued to face Rumusu, the God of Destruction, he realized the need for a more decisive strategy to deal with the imminent threat. The silver and gold energy around Goku began to concentrate, forming a sphere of intense ki in his hands. Goku, concentrated, the time has come to put an end to this. I will create a technique to seal this destructive power. Rumusu, still recovering from the last attack, looked at Goku suspiciously. Rumuwu, mocking, if you think a deadly technique can stop Hakai, you're wrong. Goku, ignoring Rumusu's words, moved forward with determination. He raised his hands and released the Kisphere towards the God of Destruction. The Sphere transformed into a series of seals that enveloped Rumu'u, temporarily imprisoning his Hakai form. Rumusu, screaming in frustration. What is this? What did you do? 
Goku, calm. It's a sealing technique. It'll give us some time to sort this out once and for all. Vegeta, who was recovering from his injuries, stood up with determination upon hearing Goku's words. Vegeta, looking at Goku, do we seal this damn power then? Goku, nodding, yes, but we need to go further. These gods of destruction won't give up so easily. Goku reached out to Vegeta, helping him up. Together, the two Saiyans prepared for the next stage of the battle. Goku, facing the gods. Rumusu is just the beginning. Let's put an end to the other gods of destruction and protect our universe. Vegeta, determined. I was waiting for that. Let's show these gods the true power of the Saiyans. With their combined strength and unwavering determination, Goku and Vegeta charged forward to face the remaining gods of destruction. The fate of Universe 7 was once again in the hands of the Saiyan warriors who were determined to protect their home against the divine conspiracy that threatened to consume everything. While Goku, Vegeta and Rumusu were in the midst of their intense battle, a divine presence manifested itself. An imposing figure, shrouded in a heavenly aura, appeared before the combatants. It was Iwen, the god of destruction of Universe 1, the highest among the gods of destruction. Iwen, in a majestic voice. Interesting? Very interesting? It seems that my subordinate Rumusu was no match for you. Goku and Vegeta stood alert at Iwen's imposing presence, while Rumusu, who was temporarily sealed, watched with a mixture of resignation and intrigue. Iwen, smiling superiorly. However, you have not faced the true power of Universe 1. I have a sentinel warrior, the fourth most powerful in my universe, who will finish you all off. Suddenly, a mysterious figure appeared next to Iwen. He was a tall warrior, clad in celestial armor, emanating an aura of power that rivaled the god of destruction himself. Sentinel warrior, in a deep voice, prepare for annihilation. I am Iwin's sentinel warrior, and his end is near. Goku, Vegeta, and even Rumusu prepared to face this new challenge. The battle intensified even more, as the sentinel warrior demonstrated surprising power that challenged even the resistance of the Saiyan warriors. Goku, determined, no matter how strong you are, we won't let you destroy our universe. The battlefield was now under the influence of two gods of destruction and their sentinel warrior. The fate of Universe 7 was being decided in a cosmic confrontation that surpassed the limits of mortal understanding. The next phases of this epic battle would test the Saiyan warriors to the limit as they faced the imminent challenge from Universe 1. Ewan's sentinel warrior, imbued with unfathomable power, began to unleash a wave of destruction on the battlefield. His attacks were devastating, challenging the resistance of Universe 7. Goku and Rumushu fought with all their strength to face this new threat, while Vegeta took the front line against the Sentinel Warrior. The Sentinel Warrior launched a series of precise and fast attacks, putting Vegeta in a defensive situation. Each blow was accompanied by an overwhelming force, pressing the Prince of Saiyans beyond his limits. Vegeta, grunting with effort. Damn, this guy is too powerful. The pressure was intense, and even with all his determination, Vegeta was beginning to feel the crushing weight of the Sentinel Warrior's power. Meanwhile, Goku and Rumusu, who were busy dealing with Iwen, noticed Vegeta's critical situation. Goku, urgently. Vegeta, hold on tight. Let's face this together. Rumusu, nodding. He's right. We need to come together to overcome this threat. Vegeta, despite the overwhelming pressure, stood up with renewed determination. The three Saiyan warriors gathered their forces, forming a temporary alliance against the Sentinel Warrior and the God of Destruction, Iwin. Sentinel Warrior, smiling. Your efforts are futile. Destruction is inevitable. But Saiyan warriors, known for their ability to surpass limits, refused to give in in the face of adversity. 
The battle reached a new level of intensity as they faced the Sentinel Warrior and Yiwen, determined to protect their universe from imminent annihilation. The fate of Universe 7 remained at stake, depending on the resilience and unity of the warriors facing the cosmic storm. Goku, feeling the urgency of the situation and realizing that strategy was essential to dealing with powerful opponents, made a quick decision. Goku with determination. Vegeta, go after Iwen. I will take care of the Sentinel Warrior. Vegeta looked at Goku with a surprised expression, but soon realized the logic behind his battle companion's decision. Without hesitation, he nodded in agreement. Vegeta, clenching his fists. Well done, Kakarot. You take care of this guy, and I'll make sure Iwen doesn't have a chance to do any more damage. As Vegeta headed towards Iwen, Goku faced the Sentinel Warrior with fierce determination. The battlefield became the stage for two intense clashes, each deciding the fate of Universe 7. The Sentinel Warrior, although initially confident, soon realized that Goku was not an opponent to be underestimated. The unique fusion of Ultra Instinct and Super Saiyan granted Goku unparalleled agility and perception allowing him to dodge and respond to the warrior's every attack. Goku, smiling, you're strong, but there's still something you don't understand. Saiyan warriors never give up. While Goku faced the Sentinel warrior, Vegeta engaged Iwen in a fierce battle. The destinies of the Saiyan Warriors and Universe 7 were intertwined, and only their unwavering determination and courage could guide their path through the cosmic storm unfolding before them. As the battle intensified, Goku felt the need to reach a new level of power to face the formidable Sentinel Warrior. An intense and bright aura began to surround Goku, and the cosmic energy around him increased significantly. Goku, concentrated, time to take this to a new level. Ultra Instinct 2, Goku's body was enveloped by an even more intense aura and his speed and power increased exponentially. His movements became fluid and he seemed to transcend reality itself, defying the laws of physics as he faced the Sentinel Warrior. Sentinel Warrior, surprised, what is this? Did his strength increase again? Goku, smiling. This is Ultra Instinct 2. I hope you're prepared. The battle reached a new level of intensity. Goku, now in the enhanced form of Ultra Instinct 2, demonstrated agility and strength that rivaled the imposing warrior. Goku's every strike was executed with pinpoint precision, while he responded instantly to his opponent's movements. Vegeta, who was facing Iwen, noticed Goku's transformation and smiled determinedly. Vegeta, to himself. It looks like Kakarot is taking this seriously. I'm going to do the same. While Goku faced the Sentinel Warrior with his new form, Vegeta also increased his power in the fight against Iwen. The Saiyan Warriors once again were determined to overcome the challenges and protect their universe from the imminent threat of the gods of destruction. The cosmic battle continued to unfold with the fate of Universe 7 hanging in the balance. Would Goku's Ultra Instinct 2 and the Saiyan's tireless determination be enough to overcome the divine adversaries that threatened everyone's existence? The answer was about to be revealed at the height of the epic battle unfolding in the far reaches of the cosmos. Goku, enveloped in the intense energy of Ultra Instinct 2, concentrated his strength for a final attack. He raised his hands to the sky, gathering an immense mass of ki between his palms. Goku, determined, ka, mi, ha, mi, ha. A gigantic sphere of energy formed, pulsing with the power of Ultra Instinct 2. Goku unleashed the wave of energy towards the Sentinel Warrior, hoping that this massive attack would be enough to defeat his opponent. 
However, to Goku's surprise, the sentry warrior, even after being hit by the gigantic Kamehameha, emerged unharmed with an even more intense aura and a determined expression. Sentinel warrior, smiling. His power is remarkable, but it's still not enough to defeat me. Goku, surprised by the warrior's resistance, remained alert, aware that he was facing a truly formidable opponent. Goku, thinking to himself, this guy is incredibly resilient. I need to find a way to overcome it. As Goku evaluated his next strategy, Vegeta, who was facing Iwin, noticed the situation and flew to join Goku. Vegeta, determined. It seems we need something more than our usual attacks to beat these gods. Goku, nodding. I agree, Vegeta. We have to go further. The two Saiyan warriors shared a determined look, preparing for the next phase of the battle. The fate of Universe 7 was in the hands of these extraordinary warriors, and the unfolding events promised even greater challenges. The cosmic battle continued, and the true extent of the Saiyan's powers would be tested to the limit against the gods who threatened the existence of their universe. Killer versus Beerus. Goku went through many obstacles to get to where he has come. Goku's power level is not even before. The same Saiyan who came from another reality to be able to bring balance ended up getting involved with the emotion of his new timeline and with the intention of being able to help all mortals. He was chosen by Zenosama and the great priest to become the new god killer. When the gods of destruction make decisions that are questioned, if they really make sense, Things begin to collapse, and the balance between peace and chaos begins to distort. When Goku becomes enraged and decides to be the new dictator of the rulers, he believes he can bring free will to mortals. Goku trained on Planet Champa, Universe 6's planet of destruction. Goku comes face to face with Beerus. Beerus says, You will have to be your end, son, Goku. <laughs> By coincidence, I appeared here in this universe. I had already some unfinished business with Zuno, the one who knows everything, and I could see that you would become a great threat. I heard that you eliminated my brother alongside two other gods of destruction. I don't know if you should be proud or feel guilty for the universal imbalance you've created. <laughs> Vado starts watching and looks at Whis and says, Looks like you guys found us, brother. And Beerus is teasing Mr. Goku in an incredible loud way, right? We says, oh, <laughs> This battle is not yours, sis. But mortals and gods clashing is a very tense thing. Even more so after what ended up happening. Vado says, What are you talking about? Vados keeps looking at Whis, not quite understanding the angel's words. Vados begins to feel other energies created in other universes. No, it's not possible, Whis. You guys actually had the courage to open the portal and release them for the seal. That's why you came after Zuno. <laughs> this... this could cause problems even with Zenosama. Whis responds. <laughs> I just carried out the orders of the God of Destruction, my Lord Lord Beerus. Margarita interrupts and says, <laughs> You really are amazing! Universe 6 and Universe 7 causing problems for all universes once again! I would like to be like that with my God of Destruction. Wait, I was! <laughs> but now he's dead because of Universe 7 and I have to stay by your side now. Look what you've done to me. <laughs> Vado's response. Don't be ironic, sister. You know very well that you chose to follow us because you were enchanted by Mr. Goku. At that moment, a great collapse of energy begins to be created. Goku begins to rage with his god killer transformation activated and the sky begins to darken. Lightning begins to appear over the sky. Beerus says, Incredible, Son Goku. So this is the power you always wanted to achieve. Goku smiles and says, This is the beginning, Mr. Beerus. Prepare to be destroyed. Hey, how's it going? Just here to remind you to click the like button, subscribe here to the channel so you don't miss any videos, and stay well inside our entire universe of Dragon Ball. Without further ado, let's get started. 
Great impacts began to be created on the planet of destruction that ended up becoming a real battlefield. Goku moves forward to attack Beerus who starts to dodge his blows. Whis watches and says, Interesting. Even Goku in his god killer form, Beerus, manages to dodge all of his attacks. This is really fascinating. But I don't believe that Mr. Goku is using all his strength. This transformation is very interesting. Mr. Goku is totally similar to the skin of an angel. It seems that he has a destructive power and at the same time an angelic power. I wonder how long he trained to reach that level. Or was it granted by someone? What are you doing, Mr. Goku? Goku launches several energy blows at Beerus. Beerus invests a great counterattack, landing several punches on Goku, leaving Goku in a very complicated situation. Goku says, What the hell? Mr. Beerus' power is totally different from all the other gods of destruction I fought. In fact, he's even more powerful than the first time I fought him. I was sure that story of only using 70% of his powers were lies. Beerus charges in again to attack Goku. Goku tries to dodge with his mastery of Ultra Instinct, but even so his speed doesn't keep up with Beerus. We says, <laughs> Looks like Lord Goku is cornered, isn't it, dear sister? My Karita starts to laugh. <laughs> Whis with a neutral cannon and says, Oh, he's hiding something, isn't it right? After Goku is thrown into the rubble of the planet of destruction by Beerus, the god of destruction laughs and says, <laughs> Is that the power of a god killer form? <laughs> How do they have the audacity to be destroyed by you? <laughs> it's laughable. I expected more from you, Goku. Now it will be your end. At that moment, a great laugh arises. <laughs> so you expected more from me. What should I say about you? Mr. Beerus, <laughs> I decided to test your powers, and I confess that I was surprised to see how inferior the god of destruction of my universe is. Furious Beerus says, What are you talking about, you bastard? How dare you say that to me? At that moment, Goku advances towards Beerus and grabs his face by sinking him into the ground. Beerus is surprised and says, Impossible! How did he manage to get so strong? Whis just watches. Margarita smiling says, <laughs> Oh no! It looks like the god of destruction of Universe 7 will also be eradicated by Son Goku in his god killer form. He really got really strong. So it was no wonder he managed to defeat the other gods of destruction. <laughs> Vado says, And that's it. Lord Goku has once again managed to eradicate a god of destruction. At that moment, we smiles and says, oh, You really do not know Mr. Beerus or who he is. The strongest destruction cat. Lord Beerus fought all the gods of destruction in the Tournament of Power and was practically victorious. In fact, he was stopped when he was about to decide the fight against Kitella from Universe 4. And even so, he didn't use all his powers. Mr. Beerus only uses his real strength when he's really angry, which is the case now. He will show his true power. Vados and Margarita are impressed and watch. Goku holding Beerus' face to the ground says, This is the end! At that moment, Goku starts to feel a tremendous pain in his hand and says, What? What is that? Beerus' body begins to increase his muscle mass. What? And Beerus' strength grows exponentially. Beerus gets up and angrily says, Son Goku, you really think you have immeasurable power, don't you? You think you can defeat anyone with a level of strength? Well, I'll show you what I'm really capable of and why I was named the God of Destruction of Universe 7. Beerus increases his strength more and more and activates his Akai form for the first time. We starts to smile and says, <laughs> I told you! Margarita and Vados are frightened by the tremendous powers of a God of Destruction. At that moment, Goku God Killer says, 
What the hell is this? His power keeps increasing. He doesn't even look the same beast of Beerus as before. Looks like this is going to be harder than I thought. Beerus appears in front of Goku and says, Get ready, son Goku! Hakai! The Hakai form. A long time ago, the angels who had extremely high powers developed their powers with their angelic mastery that managed to resolve to evolve their fighting styles more and more due to the purity and calm in their hearts. The angels had great ease in using the martial arts technique that it was able to move only by its instinct. With that, this technique was called Ultra Instinct. Only those who had a calm and peaceful energy were able to develop this technique. Practically with this skill, no one was able to defeat them. Due to their calmness, the angels were consecrated by the grace of just protecting and helping the gods for balance. All beings that had an ounce of anger in their bodies could not match their powers with the powers of angels. With that, the gods of destruction that always accompanied the angels on their journeys were always considered weaker than them. Due to the power level of Ultra Instinct technique being highly superior to the fighting style of a common mortal. Even if this god of destruction tried to use Ultra Instinct, the difficulty was tremendous because they always act on impulse and this results in a loss of key control, resulting in a practically a double-edged sword in a battle. Until the moment a god of destruction developed a technique that his fury was revealed, his instincts stopped acting by themselves and his battle ego began to speak louder. No matter how much more blows he receives, he will always remain standing. And with each blow you receive, the greater your strength will be. This way it doesn't matter the only way the angel's ultra instinct mastery could be fought against. It would be with the mastery of ultra ego. After this, the first god of destruction raised this technique. The other gods of destruction managed to develop it. Among them, a specific god of destruction that managed to perfect it and at the same time managed to dominate the Ultra Instinct as well. The Ultra Ego and Ultra Instinct combined in one body. That being was Beerus, who was considered with Beerus the Destroyer. Back to current times. Beerus comes face to face with Goku. Beerus Akai Ultra Ego vs God Killer Goku. Goku God Killer is impressed to see Beerus the Destroyer in this new form of his. Beerus appears in front of Goku and says, Akai! Goku's arm begins to disintegrate. We says, Looks like Mr. Beerus is hitting it hard now. Margarita speaks, Oh no! Is this the end of Mr. Goku? Vados interrupts and says, you know very well that Mr. Goku is a god killer. He wouldn't be defeated so easily. Goku begins to experience the great pain as he sees his arm disintegrate in his god killer form. Goku screams. Damn it, damn it, damn it! That could have happened! At that moment, Beerus says, this is just the beginning of the suffering you will experience if for challenge the great Beerus the Destroyer. Die, son Goku! At that moment, Goku dodges and starts watching. Goku says, Damn it, he's more powerful with this Hakai form. It is very similar to Vegeta's Ultra Ego. But there's something different. He can move just like me. Is that Ultra Instinct? But it seems that he does not feel pain just like Vegeta when he's using his Ultra Ego. Wait, actually Vegeta is in pain. I remember his fight against Gast and Granola. Even though Vegeta landed several blows on them, they asked the dragons from the Super Dragon Balls of their planet's dragon to be the most powerful warriors in the universe. Even so, Vegeta narrowly missed defeating the Granola, but he couldn't reach the limit of his Ultra Ego. I see. I know everything. Goku starts increasing his power even more. Goku closes his eyes and begins to regenerate his body, and his arm that had been torn off by Beerus Hakai recovers. Beerus Hakai says, Interesting power, just like Martin Boo. You still manage to recover your body from losses that seem crucial. Let's see how you will cope when your body is completely disintegrated by my Hakai. Whis watches and speaks. Whoa! Oh, this fight is really intense! Who would have thought that Mr. Goku would go so far as to make Mr. Beerus reach that level? It seems that Mr. Goku sees no limits to his powers! 
This all reminds me of the Tournament of Power. Everyone believed Jiren was the most powerful mortal there, and we were talking about just 45 minutes of fighting in the arena. <laughs> in fact, perhaps when Jiren arrived, he was the most powerful, but Mr. Goku knew all the responsibility he had, and that if he was defeated, Universe 7 would be completely eradicated. In this way, he managed to overcome his limits, and after creating a spirit bomb and having recovered it back, he was able to activate his Ultra Instinct for the first time. Will he now grow get another way? Oh, <laughs> after all, Mr. Goku always surprises us, doesn't he? Oh, my. Oh, look at Mr. Beerus. Don't go acting ugly. You are ready in your Hakai form. Vado says. Let's just watch what will happen after all. The battle of these two can decide the future of all universes. Goku with his regenerated body says. Kaioken! Ten times! Beerus Akai says. What? Can he use Kaioken in this state? Curse you, Son Goku! After Goku activates his Kaioken increase ten times, Goku advances and starts to launch several attacks on Beerus. Beerus tries to dodge by combining his Ultra Instinct with his Ultra Ego, but it has no effect. Beerus received four blows from Goku God Killer, who in addition to increasing his speed has increased his strength exponentially. Beerus falls to the ground and starts screaming from the pain he was feeling. At that moment, Goku God Killer loses his Kaioken increasing 10 times. Goku God Killer slowly advances towards Beerus and says, Mr. Beerus, there's no use in running away. This is the end for you. Now you'll know my true power and you will understand what I'm capable of. Vados looks and says, the two are finished, but Mr. Beerus is on the ground and Goku is charging towards him. Margarita says, It's the end for Mr. Beerus! Oh! <laughs> really, this form of Lord Goku is incredible! This must be why Daishikun and Zenosama chose him to be the new god killer. Weez observes with a serious face and speaks. I believe you're wrong, sisters. Margarita and Vados just watch. Weez says, Mr. Beerus just fell to the ground. He's still, but we don't know if he's actually unconscious. His Akai form is extremely difficult to use for the simple reason that he combined his energy of destruction with the energy of creation. What do I mean by that? Mr. Beerus is able to switch between Ultra Instinct with his Ultra Ego. Can you feel tremendous anger coming from his body? His state has been changed to Ultra Ego. You know exactly what that means. Margarita and Vado says, It cannot be! Goku walks up to Beerus and says, Thanks for all the teachers in the past, but now it's your end, Lord Beerus. The moment Goku lands the finishing blow on Beerus, Beerus quickly stands up with the mastery of Ultra Ego and smiles insanely and says, Ultra Akai! Goku says, What? How is this possible? No! Goku's body is fully eradicated by Beerus Akai. Goku disappears. Goku God Killer was eradicated by Beerus' Akai. Planet of Destruction Universe 6. Beerus is sitting on a rock in his base form. We says, Beerus Sama, you really were amazing in that fight. For a second I thought you would be defeated. Vado says, I cannot believe it. Mr. Goku was eliminated? I I didn't know Mr. Beerus was so strong. I'll, now who will I be able to follow? We says, what will you do now, Mr. Beerus? Will it resurrect the gods of destruction who were killed by Son Goku with the Dragon Balls? Beerus looks serious in response. You know very well that if I was interested in reviving those idiots, I would ask you to do it. After all, angels can revive mortals, right? Just like you did with Frieza in a tournament of power. Wee's response. <laughs> Don't be so rude, Mr. Beerus. I was just joking around. Beerus says. <sighs> Please, now that Son Goku is no longer upon us, I will find a way to deal with the supreme gods we brought back to show Daishikun and Zerosama that without us, the gods of destruction, the balance will become a true catastrophe, and devastation will take over. In the end, we will be the true saviors of everything. At that moment, Margarita starts to laugh. <laughs> It's way too funny! <laughs> awesome! Awesome! Beerus watches and says, mm, What's so funny? Weez just looks around and is surprised. Oh, looks like something has changed. Margarita continues to laugh. 
answers. <laughs> Wait just a minute. Just a... Uh, uh, you guys were so in shock that Goku received the Ultra Hakai and you didn't realize that even though his body has been extinguished, his presence is still there for a universe. <laughs> Beerus speaks. What? Impossible. Damn it. That couldn't have happened as his presence is still here among us. Beerus rages more and more. We says... Oh, calm down, Mr. Beerus. That really wasn't easy to understand. The moment you eradicated Mr. Goku's body, any being in a normal form would have been destroyed. But this god killer transformation of Mr. Goku is still a mystery. I mean, then that he, he still has something like omnipotence, maybe? Wait, how did he get those powers? This form actually managed to deceive us for a short time. But anyway, where is Mr. Goku now? Unknown galaxy. A voice comes up. Where am I? What is this place? Did I die? Is this the end? Little by little, Goku begins to regain his consciousness. Goku says, uh, uh, Where's my body? It feels like I'm part of it all. What? It's not possible. Even in the beating god killer form I took from Mr. Beerus, what do I do now? This couldn't have happened. Miss Fados. Miss Margarita. Even with your training, I, was I wasn't able to defeat him. Beerus's power is totally different from all other gods of destruction I've seen. Damn it. <clears throat> I need to get my body back. But how am I going to do this? Wait. I remember my fight against Mr. Beerus. He had ripped my arm first with his Akai. And in the heat of the moment, I managed to use my god killer energy and regenerated it. Can I use all this energy to recover my entire body? It's worth trying. <coughs> Goku with omnipotence that was the result of the god killer energy creates a junction of actions in space and after a big explosion again, his body is recreated. Goku says, <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing! A god killer energy is just too much! In fact, if it wasn't for her, I would be dead by now. <laughs> Oof! So it means that my journey is not over yet. Oh wait. Uh, where am I? Goku god killer had managed to recover his body after his fight against Beerus. But due to having reached the form of omnipotence, he had lost consciousness and appeared somewhere. At that moment, Goku says, Wait, I know. Just need to feel the Earth's energy here. I'm sure I'll be able to talk to my friends until I can recover my powers and train to challenge the gods. If I hide my key, for sure they won't realize I'm here. Goku feels the energy of the Earth, and at that moment he already teleports there. However, he has a totally different view of things. Goku sees a peaceful Earth. Goku says, What's going on here? Days ago, I had to fight against several beings and even invade the Makai realm so that I could bring balance to the Earth. The Earth had been invaded and Gohan and Piccolo had had to fight several enemies. This does not make any sense. Goku saw many peaceful inhabitants going to their jobs and living peacefully. Goku is confused and says, What's going on here? I know. I have to go to Bulma's house. When Goku teleports to the Capsule Corporation, Goku is faced with a totally different image and says, Wait, I could have sworn this was Bulma's house. If this isn't Bulma's house, where is Vegeta? Uh, wait, Goten, Gohan, Chi Chi! I have to go to my house. When Goku teleports to his home location, he also sees a different, completely place in the mountains. Goku feels a monstrous energy training. And he has a young man appearing 20 years old and with black hair throwing several punches at a tree. The young man stops his training and looks at Goku. Hey, how did you get here? Wait, I know you. You're Son Goku, the mortal who defeated Jiren in the Tournament of Power. Your fight was incredible. My name is Yami. Goku looks at a young man and says, <laughs> Yeah, that's me. You seem to be very strong. I could feel your power from afar. Nami questions. But what are you doing here, Son Goku? I mean, <laughs> Mr. Goku. Goku responds. Here? What do you mean? Are we not from Earth? 
I was fighting Mr. Beerus and I was almost eradicated. Yomi says, Did you fight the God of Destruction from Universe 7? Oh, amazing! Goku says, I became the new God Killer. I was supposed to destroy Mr. Beerus just like I did some Gods of Destruction to bring balance. But that knocked me down because I wasn't prepared yet. And wait. As you know, Mr. Beerus too, who are you? At that moment, Yami says, You tried to eliminate a god of destruction? Uh, well, thanks to Lord Ewan, the Earth has lived in peace for millennia. And do you think with this god killer thing you can do as you please? Yami starts raising his key even more. Goku says, What? Who is Ewan? Yami responds by shouting, Ewan is the god of destruction of this universe, which is Universe 1! And I'm considered the seventh most powerful mortal in all universes. Thanks to my power, Universe 1 didn't have to fight in the Tournament of Power. I even had recognition from Zenosama. I know that you had a great performance in the Tournament of Power and you were a good person, but I can see I was wrong. I won't let you do anything to Mr. E1. You are in Universe 1, Zon Goku, and I'm the room maker here. Goku says, <laughs> You don't seem like a bad person, so that's it. It's explained then. This guy's very strong. Let's start then. Come! Goku vs. Yami, the seventh most powerful warrior in the universe. Among all the threats that appeared in all universes, Goku was selected to be the new god killer. Goku had managed to defeat three gods of destruction due to being caught unexpectedly by his god killer transformation. But these same gods did not accept the outcome of these battles. However, the Beerus god of destruction from Universe 7 had finally appeared on the planet destruction from Universe 6 where Goku was training with Vados and Margarita. Goku and Beerus had an insane battle. Beerus knew about Goku's abilities and in every development he would raise. Beerus, when activating his Akai Ultra Ego form, managed to send Goku to another dimension believing that he had eliminated Goku. But Goku was in his god killer form where he was still discovering his powers. Goku in another unknown dimension had gone to Earth where he did not find his friends that he knew until the moment he saw a young man with extremely powerful energy and said that he would end all of the gods of destruction. The young man becomes enraged, revealing himself to be a disciple of the first god of destruction Ewan and to be the seventh most powerful warrior in all universes. Goku vs Yami, the battle begins. Palace at the center of all universes by Zenosama. Zenosama is playing alongside his guards. Zenosama says, Justice! Kamehameha! Oh, these techniques are awesome! They look really amazing! We need to do another tournament of power! Goku was amazing using that Ultra Instinct power! Now he has the power of a god killer! I'm sure no one will be able to stop him! Zenosama's guards are just watching. Daishikan starts to notice and says, Looks like Mr. Goku's god killer transformation still has some flaws, Mr. Zeno. Zeno responds. Oh! What do you mean, Daishikan? Daishikan says. It seems that Mr. Goku has raised his powers even more, reaching extremely high levels. But the gods of destruction that were defeated did not have time to use their entire level of Hakai power because they believed that the limit of Son Goku's powers were the levels of an Ultra Instinct as he had shown in the Tournament of Power. On the other hand, Beerus was not on the Earth of Universe 7. He stayed for a while on the Kingdom of the Makarish in solving pending issues. And when he returned to Earth and found out about the attitudes of Lord Goku, he was directly next to Whis behind Goku who carried out his training directly on the Planet of Destruction of Universe 6. So the two fought insanely and apparently at first, Beerus with practically all his powers erased Goku's existence. Xenosama says, What? No! Goku cannot die! We are the ones who gave him the test of a god killer! He cannot be defeated like that! Ah! Daishikan interrupts. Calm down, Mr. Zeno. I said that apparently he had been eradicated, but I can still feel his energy in a distant universe. Mr. Goku is certainly in another place. He will get much stronger. We know that in several timelines there are several beings that are extremely powerful 
including the list of the strongest of the universes. In a tournament of power, four universes did not fight because their power level was much higher than that of another mortal. So if we analyze, in addition to other gods of destruction, Mr. Goku may have to face mortals as strong as the gods of destruction who are carrying out their training. Let's wait and see what his god killer journey will result in, Mr. Zeno. Zeno observes and speaks. <laughs> I knew Goku would make it out of this. He will defeat as many warriors as necessary to bring balance. At this time on Earth in Universe 1, Goku was fighting Yami. Goku activates his Super Saiyan 1 and says, This guy has a very calm energy. He doesn't seem like a Saiyan, but he doesn't look like a human either. Let me test his powers. If he's saying he is the seventh more powerful in the universe, he must be pretty strong. I remember the Daishikan said he was among the five powerfuls in the universes, but it wasn't clear if he was the strongest or not. Like it or not, this guy is saying it's only two placements down. At that moment, Yami says, Hey, what are you whispering about? Dragon Roar! An enormous aura of a gigantic dragon is cast over Goku. Goku says, What kind of attack is that? Goku, transformed into a Super Saiyan, tries to hold off the attack. Goku says, <laughs> This image of this dragon, it's just like Serong. Who is this guy? Goku begins to back away and engulfed by the dragon's energy released by Yami. Yami says, <laughs> That is the end of you. You are strong. Your mistake was wanting to end a god of destruction. I'll talk to Mr. Ewan about it. God killer? <laughs> that is a bunch of bullshit. A big explosion appears and Yami is scared. Yami says, What the hell? This guy withstood my attack. At that moment, Goku activates his Super Saiyan Blue form plus Kaioken. His shirt is all torn off. Goku appears and speaks. This can only be a joke. This guy is really strong. <laughs> I'm excited. Yami speaks. <laughs> ah, just like they said in the Tournament of Power. He managed to get stronger. I'm sure you're not fighting with all your strength now. Come on, Lord Goku. Show me all your strength. Smiling, Yami charges forward again to attack Goku. The two begin to exchange several punches. Goku speaks. This guy's really strong. He didn't even care that I jumped from another Super Saiyan Blue with Kaioken and is fighting at the same level. He laughs at me to show my powers, but he continues the same way. I will only remain like this. Goku starts laughing. <laughs> I should have known by now. He knows my abilities from the Tournament of Power. Looks like your God of Destruction passed all the informations onto him, so I have no choice. <clears throat> Goku concentrates and activates his Ultra Instinct transformation. His hair turns white. Fascinated, Yami looks and speaks. So that's the mastered Ultra Instinct. The skill that not even the gods can manage with ease. Very well. Show me all your strength. Goku begins to quickly dodge Yami's blows. Yami Wachi speaks. Damn it! His movements have increased enormously! It looks like he's a lot more agile than before. I'm going to need to increase my speed! <laughs> Yami begins to read Goku's movements. Yami says, That's amazing! I can read his punches even at this stage! Come, Goku! You'll receive my Dragon Roar! Goku looks and speaks. What? Did he manage to get even stronger? This guy is definitely not an Earthling! Yami starts to laugh and says, <laughs> Fascinating! You withstood that attack as well. Ah! Yami raises his power and speaks. You are from the Saiyan race, the primate apes. I'm Yami from the Rajing race, from the descendant of the Dragon Salama. <laughs> Come at me with all your strength, Son Goku. Goku says, What? Rajin race?
Goku is startled to discover that Yami is actually from the Rajin race, the race descended from dragons. Goku speaks. So that means that in other universes, there are several different races. This guy's level of fighting power is literally equal to or greater than that of a god of destruction. I really need to get a lot stronger if I want to recreate the balance of the universes. That's a lot of strong guys. I'm getting excited about all of this. <laughs> the two began to fight in a very exciting way on Earth. Goku had forgotten the essence of a god killer and fought Yami like two martial arts fighters. Yami says, You know, Son Goku, if we hadn't met with you having this crazy essence in your head of destroying gods, surely we could have become great partners. <laughs> Too bad I have to end you. Goku smiles and says, <laughs> Let's see if you can do that. Planet of Destruction Universe 1. Awamo, the angel of Universe 1, begins to observe. Oh, Sir Ewan, can you see this? A few days ago, I noticed a new presence of God Killer here in our universe. And from what I'm noticing, now this presence got stronger. It looks a lot like the mortal who had an excellent performance in the Tournament of Power. In fact, I'm sure here's the one fighting Yummy right now. But what surprises me is his energy is totally different from before. From what I can see, he managed to awaken the powers of a God Killer and was authorized to destroy the gods of destruction to cause balance. I also feel strange energies in Universe 6, apart from the fact that a few days ago I noticed Champa's essence. What is going on? Did you ever think he might want to come after you, Lord E1? At the moment the god of destruction of Universe 1 observes and speaks. It doesn't matter. Before he comes after me, I'll surprise him and go after him. I'm not afraid of any other being who says he's superior to me. My legacy as a god of destruction goes back millennia. And there have been several who claim to be god killers who fell into the powers of Universe 1. The first universe has the most powerful warriors of all time. And the seventh strongest of the universes is here with us. Come on, Yami. Let's go see Yami. Awamo starts watching and says, Confident as ever. That's to be expected from Universe 1. Back to Earth from Universe 1. Goku screams. Ami, Ami! Yami screams. Dragons! Roar! Yami says. I've seen his technique a long time ago. It won't help you, son Goku. Yami teleports up and appears behind Goku and hits him with a big punch. Yami says. <laughs> I hit you! Even with the mastery of Ultra Instinct, I managed to read your movements again. Ha ha ha! You're nothing, Son Goku! Goku responds, Dragon Fist! At that moment, a large image of Shenron appears over Goku's fist and Yami startles speaking. What the hell is that? He possesses a technique that symbolizes an ancient dragon. I remember like it was yesterday. This is the image of the Shenron Golden Dragon. Who is this mortal who defies the gods and still has the abilities of a supreme Asian god? <clears throat> Goku, now you're pissing me off! Yami begins to increase his powers even more and tries to launch several attacks on Goku. Goku again dodges, but his Ultra Instinct energy begins to reduce. Goku speaks. Damn it! <clears throat> Looks like I need to cut back a bit to get my energy back. Yami! You are very strong! But our fight is about to end. Yami smiles and says, <laughs> What are you talking about, Goku? Goku says, You certainly have the power level of a god of destruction, and I have developed the perfect way to bring balance between universes. This was the way I used to eliminate three gods of destruction. No, no, my true form. God killer! <laughs> Yami watches impressed and says, What? What gigantic power is this? He's increasing strength exponentially in a massive way. What the heck? Does a Saiyan have all that strength potential? Goku's body turns all blue. His hair turns spiky white and his Saiyan power becomes totally divine. Again, Goku God Killer appears. Furious Yami says, Who do you think you are? So you were just joking around? Ah! 
Yami runs and charges forward to attack Goku. Goku receives a series of hits from Yami, but none of these hits have any effect on Goku. Goku says, It's no use. You're a strong guy, but you won't be able to beat me like that. Goku starts to land several punches on Yami to the point that the descendant of the dragon race is on the sidelines. Yami says, <laughs> It's impossible! He's too strong! It's a whole different level than the level I saw him utilize in a tournament of power! What the hell is this? Yami begins to increase his power even more and tries to exchange several punches with Goku God Killer. The discrepancy of powers between Goku and his God Killer form with Yami were totally surreal. Goku's strength increasingly increased, and Yami for the first time appeared to be feeling the feeling of fear. <sighs> I just love the smell of fear. Yami says, It's not possible. For the first time, I'm afraid. I'm feeling that the enemy really can beat me. This power he's showing is really fantastic. It seems that not even a god of destruction could defeat him. Goku watches and says, You are finally understanding that you won't be able to defeat me, are you? Now you will understand the true power of a god killer. I have no intention of breaking up with you, but please get out of my way. Otherwise, it will be indeed the end for you. I don't know how someone as strong as you is allied with a god of destruction. They just want to eradicate planets and end lives to bring balance. At that moment, Yami says, <laughs> Fear, despair, formidable feelings I'm feeling. I've never felt this before. <laughs> You're truly amazing, Goku. But fear is just a feeling that can be overcome. Now you made me really serious. Uh... Goku watches and speaks. But what is this guy doing? What the hell is going on with this guy? So far it didn't look like he was beaten. At that moment Yami begins to raise his ki and transform. His body begins to create a dragon skin. And his ki begins to increase exponentially. Yami says. <laughs> God killer, huh? This is my destroyer drag form. <laughs> now Son Goku. Now this fight will really begin. Goku smiles and speaks. I should have guessed that to be the seventh most powerful in the universe, you would definitely be able to do something like that. Yami changes his face to a serious one and says, Goku, this is your end. At that moment, a huge explosion appears in another location on Earth. E1, the god of destruction from Universe 1, arrives. To be continued, what will be the outcome of this battle? And what do you think and what do you believe about all of this? Regardless of what it is, it is more than important that you arrive exposing it in your comments so that we can enter to that crazy debate. Don't forget to click the like button, subscribe here to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any videos. And that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.